All right. So for uh, for this next problem, what I have um, in here is for us to go through as far as uh, simplifying radical express or simplify um, exponential expressions. So the main important thing right now is we want to make sure we get rid of our parentheses. So we take a look at this and say, you know, how can we get rid of the parentheses? Well, all I need to do is distribute my negative sign. So I do negative 4w, negative cubed, z to the negative fifth. All right. Then to eliminate this parenthesis, I need to square, remember, both terms. By using the power, power of product, which states if you have two terms raised to an exponent, that means it's the first term and the second term both raised to the exponent. So therefore, this is going to be 64 w squared. All right. Now, let's go and come multiply our like terms. So we have negative 4 times 64, w to the negative third times w squared times z to the fifth. So negative 4 times 64 is uh, negative 256. Then what happens when you multiply bases with exponents? Well, remember, a um, to the m times a to the nth equals a to the m plus n. So you're going to add the exponents. So negative 3 plus, plus 2 is going to be a w to the negative first power. right? Then we have, oh, I'm sorry, this is z to the negative fifth, isn't it? z to the negative fifth. Now, the last step, right, is we've got to make sure that we're writing our expression without any negative exponents. And our last one is a to the negative m equals 1 over a to the m over a to the positive m. So therefore, to write this expression without any negative exponents, I'll have a negative 256 divided by w, z to the fifth. Ta-da. Any questions at any point? Yes. I'm sorry, I have a question, but I don't think many people are uh, listening. Justin, did you hear the question? Yeah. What was the question? OK, say that again. <laughs> yeah, it's just like this. 3 times 4 times 2. What do you do? You just multiply 3 times 4 times 2. You don't multiply the 2 times the 3 and the 2 times the 4. Right? It's just all multiplied across. If it was addition, that's when you kind of apply the straight property. But it's just you just multiply them across, okay?